This is part 7 of our series on how to use Ultimaker Cura for complete beginners. In this video we will learn how print and place articulating 3D prints work, as well as strategies to set them up on a print bed in Cura. Let's start with the Flexirex. Now when I print this, it is print and place. You don't need any supports. Um, I know there are red parts where you think you might, but this will bridge fine. This will overhang just fine. This entire thing will print correctly. And when you pick it up, it'll actually be able to be articulated and it just, it comes printed in place, which is really cool. Let's real quick talk about how that works. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my mesh tools and I'm gonna split the model into parts. And then I can click on just one random part and we can kind of see how the whole system works if we move this part out. And so what happens as it slices? So let's hit slice and let's go to preview and let's look at the layers. If we look on one end, you can see, if I get rid of this, you can see as it comes up, it creates this sort of circle that it's able to finish off on its own as it goes up without any supports. And if you look at the other end, what's going on is at the exact same height that it needs to be at, a bridging effect happens right here, allowing for a cylinder to go right through the middle. And why is that so important? Because if we look maybe at this junction right here, if we look very closely, you can see the circle starts. So the hole starts for the bridge. And then a couple layers later, the bridge happens. And so as it comes up, it's able to print it all in place, all connected. So as soon as you pick up this Flexirex off the print bed, it is already articulating. And so let me go back to repair and let me hit control Z on my keyboard and then control Z again to make this all one big part. And so I don't need to multiply select that. That was just a demonstration. Um, this is pretty much ready to go. There is one problem. Sometimes when I print this, um, especially in large quantities, I'll put several on one bed so I can have a bunch of prizes to give the students for various reasons. A lot of times, some of these will fail. In fact, probably about 20% of them. If I put 10 on a bed, maybe two of them will fail. And where it will fail is actually at the last few tail pieces, not the end, but on maybe one of these three where there's not a lot of surface area touching the plate. It doesn't always happen and it doesn't usually happen, but it does happen sometimes. And so for that reason, I might not use a skirt to slice this. I might use a raft or a brim. I'm partial to the raft and let's talk about why. Let's put the brim on there and see what it looks like. If we go to preview, you'll see that the brim actually fills in the entire gap all the way in between the joints. It gets a little annoying debrimming this, getting the brim off the inside middle pieces here. It's not hard, it's not impossible, it doesn't even take a long time, it's just a little tedious. Um, if we compare that to the raft, it also adds that extra surface area um, adhesion, but the raft more pops off as a whole and it's a lot less tedious and a lot less precise popping the raft off. Even if it does stick to it and you have to use your flush cutters to sort of wedge underneath it to pop it off, it's still a lot easier, at least in my opinion, to pop off this way. Of course, the downside is, is that first layer um, at the top of the raft. So that'll be layer five on this. When you're looking at it from the bottom, it will look a little ugly. Um, that's just the nature of popping off the raft, printing on top of plastic, and then peeling that plastic off. It, you know, messes with the aesthetics a little bit. And so it's kind of a personal choice. The raft uses a little bit more material because it's more layers. And in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to break off. But the brim uses a little bit less material and will print a little bit faster. You might have noticed the time difference between the raft and the brim. But the brim is a little bit more tedious to clean it off with your flush cutters. So you might include a raft or a brim on this print. A lot of times it'll print just fine with the skirt. You might not do a five millimeter raft. You might go down to a two millimeter. It's probably more than enough in all honesty. I'm a one or a two millimeter raft on this Flexirex specifically. 
Let's change it to another print in place file. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And let's go to open and let's go to our articulated dragon. And I'm just going to go to the normal one, not the short horns or the straight. And let's just pick the SDL file. Now, this is similar in the sense that it will print in place and it will articulate. So let's talk about how it'll print in place and how it will articulate. How does that actually work? So let's once again use our mesh tools to split the model into parts. Moments later. And let's once again just pick one random file to move out so we can take a look at it and see how this system works when it prints in place. So I'm going to go ahead and hit slice. More moments later. And go to preview. And it looks like I never turned off my raft feature. Let's take a look at this. If we watch how this one works, it looks like on the back end of each piece, there is a, just a vertical cylinder coming up, which is pretty clever. And, you know, going through the back there, there is a little gap to allow for something to wrap around that cylinder. On the front end, you can see what wraps around is this thin little edge of a hole here. And how does that come up? Well, it's coming up at an angle if you watch it comes up at this overhang angle that is printable it's a small enough angle that as it comes up it will overhang just fine and then at the certain point it starts to bridge together creating this entire hole here to wrap around the cylinder and so as we go up higher you can see that it will just go up creating this edge to a hole and then it'll start to come back. So now we have a complete hole that wraps around the cylinder. So if we come back and look at, let's say, this articulation right here, we can see that happening. We can see it coming up, wrapping around this vertical cylinder. And then once it gets up high enough, it finishes off and comes back around, finishing off that hole, giving us that cylinder so that it can move in place. Once you pick it up, it's already articulating and ready to go. It just works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to repair and hit Control Z on my keyboard twice. The first time puts it back. The second time makes it not separate mesh files anymore. So now if I move it, I can move the entire thing at once. Before I slice this, I do want to also include the mustache. The mustache goes into these little nostril holes right here. I'm going to put it right in the center of this, I think. And on this one, I would also think I would want a raft or a brim instead of a skirt because, well, the same reason, sometimes this print fails on the back end because it's so small it's such a small surface area it will not adhere sometimes to the bed i've also had some warping with this and that makes sense if you look it has such sharp edges on the back end of each piece i've done this with both a brim and a raft and just like the flexi-rexy i hate debrimming this and so i like a raft although we don't need a big raft maybe just like a two millimeter raft is probably more than enough Let's take a look and see how, or if we like the way it looks there. A few minutes later. And that one was surprisingly long. I'm sure it was short for you, though. Um, I like the raft because it keeps everything connected together and it prevents the warping. Um, just like the Flexirex, I won't include any supports on this. I know it thinks it needs supports in a lot of places. It really doesn't. It prints in place, and as soon as you pick it up, in this case, all you'll have to do is rip off the raft and it will articulate like a kind of like a snake or a dragon and you can easily um, wedge these two mustaches into these two holes right here on the sides of the nostrils um, but this i i would be confident with this print i, th I think it'll work great and that's how i set up print in place articulating 3d prints Hopefully this also gave you an idea of how you could create your own print in place um, items that work as soon as you pick them up off the build plate.